Hello and welcome to Chris and Pam Travel Buddies. In this video we visit the Preveli Palm Beach and the former hippie town of Matala. From our hotel in Reftimno we had to drive south. Driving time to Preveli is round about an hour. Greek salad, tzatziki and bread, and some visitors. Hello, how are you? This is the way to the Pound Forest. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and leave a comment and ring that notification bell. Calimera, uh, from the Palm Tree Beach. Yes, in Preveli. I hope I pronounced that. Preveli? Preveli, Preveli. <laughs> Sorry, dear Greek friends, we don't know how to pronounce it correctly. <laughs> but it's beautiful here. Yeah, it, this, is, this is breathtaking. Yes, and it's quite a challenge to get down here. Once again, you need sturdy shoes. Uh, it's a bit of a decline, incline to get up again. So just be prepared for that. Or you can come here by boat. Yeah. We have some day trips coming here to this beach. Do it. It's worth it. Yes, absolutely beautiful. I tell you what, my original plan was to bring the drone. But it is so windy here, I would have said goodbye to the drone very quickly. I would be here and my drone would be somewhere else. It's way too, way too windy for that. <laughs> and by the way, there's no entrance fee. And this is the end of this trail. We were hoping you could cross and then go back on the other side of the river, but you can't. It's uh, like a one way and then turn around and go way back. And then you can go the other way. And then you can go the other <laughs> way, yes, if you like. But it's not a round trip no. or a loop. So, and this is how it looks like from the beach. And our car, guys, is way up there. Are we looking forward to going back to the car? No! In case you're wondering, 8,202 kilometers from New York City. To our surprise, it took us about 45 minutes to get up from the beach to the car. Our next stop on this day was the former hippie village of Matala. Driving time was about one and a half hours, but it's a very scenic drive where you pass countless cute Greek villages. Welcome to Matala.
Greetings to Patrick Krüger. Yeah, thanks to you guys, we visited Matala and we enjoyed it very much. Yeah. Welcome to Matala. the caves from Matala. And who is living there? Well, among many other hippies, we know about Bob Dylan and Cat Stevens used to live here, somewhere in the 60s, I believe, in the 70s. Now we're going to visit those caves and entrance fee is, I think it's four euros, three euros. We tell you later. All right. Is this the bedroom? Yeah, I believe so, yes. Oh my goodness. This was probably the former kitchen. <laughs> and this is the, I don't know, the living room. But and here's the TV. But guys, this view, it's not bad when you wake up in the morning. My question is, where's the toilet? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> this looks like Bob Dylan's mansion. And look, there's somebody inside. Bob! Oh, no, it's Ben. It's me, Ben. Hello. Is it comfortable? Yeah. I tell you what, I would have never been a hippie. <laughs> I like the view. Waking up to this view in the morning is not bad, but then again, no. Living in a cave, not for me. Now, to be very fair, these caves is a bit like souvenir shops. Mm -hmm. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. And the ticket is four euro. Yes, it's worth. Pay, when you are here, pay the four euros. They don't hurt when you are here. You see those caves, you know where Bob Dylan used to live, but that's about it. tell you something life is beautiful cheers and for dinner we found a very nice restaurant with fresh fish on display so we got to enjoy this beautiful fish plate greek salad of course and this unforgettable sunset Alright guys, that's it for this episode. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you won't miss our next adventure.